so all right we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be a little bit selfish to me again i know this is we're here to interview you but uh i asked you to watch one of my flight videos mm -hmm. and uh i'll link it somewhere wherever it shows up um which yeah it'll be down below thank you so uh <laughs> what and and i'm sure you probably get this question all the time what can i do or what can just someone a normal person do to get better at being smooth like you and like drew and all these other guys are keep going on a continuous direction a lot of people tend to have a good smooth line going or something good going and then they'll just turn around yeah for no odd reason just turn around or just stop and look and do something that you know what i mean like whatever you're doing mm -hmm. It needs to continue into something else. That's why I do a lot of y'alls because mm -hmm. I can become anything or getting ready to crash into anything and y'all out of it. And it still continues my line. You never want to have like a stagnant point where you're stopped or you're like, cause you're searching. You know what I mean? That's what's, that's what's happening. That's what your pro your brain is processing is that when you stop and slow down, you're searching for something next to do. Mm hmm you're more or less like I just sling my quad into wherever and try to be as smooth as I can. That's another thing. Just throw your quad into crazy situations and try to come out of those situations as smooth as possible. That's pretty much what it boils down to a lot. You know what I mean? Like I, I have a general idea of what I want to do, but I don't ever, I don't ever go to a location and say, okay, I'm going to do this over there and then mm -hmm. I'm going to go, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go and do this. That's like never, never on my mind. I don't know what trick I'm going to do before it's getting done, unless I'm like I'm going to do a juicy flick through that that pavilion. Yes, that I know that's coming up. Sure. But I just put headphones in. I put headphones in, and I just I fly not hearing anybody. Like I can't. My flying gets worse as I, if I don't have headphones on. Okay. It's like, from everybody else talking and other things going on behind me where if I have headphones on turned all the way up which I know is unsafe there's always spotters <laughs> but that's how that's what gets me into my group that's what gets mm -hmm. me leaning and my knees shaking and elbows <laughs> and it my rib cage. you know like that Cause, and that's another thing about getting, being smoother is going off of a beat mm -hmm. something that you can, it has a rhythm to it so that you, you know, okay, this, once you hear a song, you know the beat's getting ready to drop here. So that's right. when you make sure you do something that's going to be like, wow, on the beat. It's hard well, to Now, what if, when you're putting together a flight edit, will you actually go back to the music you were flying to at that moment? No. <laughs> okay. I've never used a song that, I mean, rarely. Some days, like if I hear a good song I like, I'll continuously fly to that same song all day. Mm -hmm. but then if it comes to a point where it's like okay the edit didn't look work good with that song even though i did fly to it and i found the better one i'll use that okay. i think that has a lot to do with being smooth or not even being smooth but the perception of smoothness is the music that's used it is so, so i mean music can change the whole flight can change like everything about the way that person took that flight or the way that you felt about it. Yeah, I like. I feel like I try to put like not a story together when I fly, but to, it's like artwork. You know what I mean? I'm painting the mm -hmm. picture, so it's like the music has to go along with that. If you have a, sm a super slow flight, but you have ra da 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 or rad, right. Rad, 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 it's not going to put the viewer into that that place you want them to be. If you want them to be in like a peaceful, serene time. Johnny mm -hmm. FPV is a perfect example of that. Like the music that he uses is is perfect for it. It's like man, like you're feeling it. You're like, okay, all right. It has to. Music is a lot. <clears throat> music is probably harder than the flight edit that you got to put together. Like right. I spent right. hours searching for music. Like oh my gosh, it's just not it. It's just not doing this. But so that's that. <laughs> um, you know, so it, you kind of touch on this, but you know. You are you kind of the the first one to throw backwards flying into things. 
Is that is that a is that a cricket FPV original? I uh, I would say yes, but I guess some people might not feel that way. <laughs> Who does <laughs> it? It's if you. I, I, I can. I just. I don't know. Not anyone in particular. Okay. That I just. It it seems I like the person to say I shouldn't be the person. That's like, oh, I started that. Well, like, I, I can honestly say, like, I, I, there's one guy that I know here locally, he, and he doesn't fly as much anymore. Um, a guy named Robert Carson, and he and I used to fly together a while ago. And uh, he used to, he got started getting into this these backwards maneuvers, and so he was the first one I ever saw do it, but he didn't blow up and become huge and like in he didn't become an influence on a bunch of other people right um so then all of a sudden you know fast forward like literally two years and i start seeing your videos pop up on youtube and some of your edits and i see some of the um the stuff you put on facebook and it i'm like man this like this dude's like you've taken it to a whole new level even beyond what my buddy Robert did, like, <clears throat> I'm seeing things come for, coming out of you where it's just like, how, I like, you know, do you have a camera on the back of the quad? <laughs> like, <laughs> how, That's the best compliment ever when people say that too. Every time I post a video, people are like, cheater quad, cheater quad. No, cheater no. quad. I haven't owned one. I've never flown one. Do I feel like it's considered a cheater quad? If I was doing something for filming, yes, I would use it. Okay. But other than that, I probably wouldn't have one. Yeah. For the for the purity of the hobby. Of the you hobby. wouldn't have one. Yeah. And I'm not against anybody that wants to build one. It's a cool build. I yeah. it can be used for so many different things. And and maybe one day, like I could only imagine what I could do with a cheetah quad. I can't even yeah, dude. You know, like if, it, be... if I had a cheetah quad, like I think I could really like blow some minds with that. If I can yeah. see where I'm going, what? <laughs> I, can I think see. <laughs> I I I think the thing that uh, that I think probably the most impressive backwards maneuver I, I think I've seen you do are backwards dives. That's my that's my thing there. I'm like God, I just I can't even imagine the pucker factor yeah. of you got to stay calm though. You got to stay relaxed. You have yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. I mean that's. Okay, in Vegas, I taught, oh, man, what is his name? Oh, my gosh. I can't remember his name, but it's in one of my videos. But he says, I want to I want to backwards dive something. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to teach you how to do it over here. And mm -hmm. first try. No problem. First try. Killed it. And I was like, it's not a difficult trick. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 but who doesn't freak out when they can't see? There's a, well, there's a serious level of commitment there. Oh yeah, 110%. That's you, now let me just, you know, psychologically, do you have any commitment issues? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I, I, I see a lot of commitment in your flight flying and uh I wonder if that you know, I wonder if we could psychoanalyze people based on their flying styles. I'll have to get down here for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Yeah, so I mean what so how long how long ago did the backwards flying thing start and how have you, how has it progressed? Like, what did it start with? I'm trying to remember where I, where it actually did start at. Where did I do the first one? Like if you oh, had to put an, an age on it. Yeah. Oh, you mean like, like time wise? How long ago? Yeah. How long do you think you've been flying, doing the, the backwards flying tricks? I don't even know, man. That's a crazy okay. question. Nobody's ever asked me that one. You're asking these tough ones. <laughs> Got Brian Gumble over here. Well, so all right. So you you think you what? what where do you think it's where do you think it started? I think I believe it was something just to like like oh it was to be cool if I could do that, mm -hmm. and it worked out a little bit, and I was like oh, and then it just like sparked my interest of being like okay let's see how far I can take it. Mm -hmm. And that's to a level where, okay, I'm just going to keep pushing it 
and keep pushing it and see how far I can actually take flying backwards to like a whole nother level. Like there's so many other things that I like have in my head to do, but that's another mm-hmm. thing. Cu- keeping things fresh, like keeping new tricks coming out. Cause I mean, if you think about it, we're really running out of tricks. Yeah. FPV. Like, I mean, it's really at a plateau area. Once you learn a select amount of things, you pretty much got the whole catalog of tricks down. Now, depending on how you put those tricks together or how you add those into your flights is on you, and that's what changes the flight. You know what I mean? In general, that's what Mm -hmm. changes the flight. But uh, there are some things that that it can be pushed a little bit further, but most of it is all blind. I mean, that's the next thing. But everything's cool if you can see it. Yeah, that Mm -hmm. was different, but I could see that. Now, let's not... Let's do a back. Oh, you know where it might have happened? No, it didn't happen there. I can't believe <laughs> I stumped on this. Now I'm going to have to like really go back and figure out where I actually did it at. Yeah, I'll, t- if you, I'll tell you what. If you figure it out, let me know. And between now and when I get posted, I'll actually drop it in the description. Yeah. It, and then it just, like I said, it just kind of took off to like seeing how far I can take it. And now it is where it is now. But there's so many people that can do it. Like there's people that are flying backwards all the time. Yeah. And that's what pushes me. That's what makes me feel like, okay, all right. I, it, well, you, <laughs> you had you had a head start on people, but, but you're right. There's only so many innovations that you can do in, like, three-dimensional space. Yep. So, I don't want to do 3D. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh-uh. There we have that. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so let me, let me turn the, kind of the, top, the conversation a little bit. Um, you, you know, you, 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 your, your birthday was recently, um, and, uh, the video that you put out, uh, was it a few weeks, a couple weeks ago? Um, you, you had, it was what now? That was the one that was on my birthday, right? Like on yeah. my birthday. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, so ha- happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. You look, you look great for 23. Yep. Like it. Um, and, uh. <laughs> So, you know, one, one thing that it was, it, that, that I noticed that, that kind of stuck to me, stuck out to me was that like, uh, you made the statement while well, my buddies came down for my birthday. So are there, is there a big community in Baltimore or are people coming in from outside to. Do we have a huge, I mean like 30, 35 people. Okay. But that's the problem with. That's the only problem that we have with FPV is you can't do it with a bunch of people. Right. You know what I mean? And especially if you want to go hit like colleges or you want to go hit Mm -hmm. locations that you can't have 35 people show up. You know what I mean? So like spots that we fly with a group of people is way different than what you would fly with on for with six people, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but we have a huge, huge following here, man. It's crazy. There's a lot of good pilots here in Baltimore. Now everybody, the problem is is how serious people can actually take it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Some people don't have the time. It's definitely time consuming, you know, to get to like not only do you go out and fly, then you gotta come home and you gotta edit. Right. I mean you don't go to sleep until two, three o'clock in the morning, like every morning. And that's just me on the internet. I mean, think about it. keeping up with Facebook, keeping up with your YouTube. There's like a lot of I know my, my internet is just like juice, 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 just, mm-hmm. just getting sucked out of here. So it's just like the, the whole like scene, I guess, takes a lot of time. I mean, how much are you? I know it consumes a lot of your life. Am I right? Oh, God, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm... just not even <sighs> just like on the other side. Like I don't even fly that often. But how much of your day is not thinking about or doing something FPV related? Even when I'm at work, I'm looking at my phone at, oh. This came well, out. Um, yeah. So you know, it it it's it, that's an interesting question, and I will. Um, the nature of my job is pretty all-consuming. Um, so I work I work for a startup, and I wear a bunch of different hats, and so like I have to do a lot of things in a given day. Okay. I probably work uh, way too much. Um, <laughs> And so I actually use FPV as my way to relax. Um, But what I find is that like doing this, like I worked all day today, I worked up until about seven o'clock and um, 
then, you know, was looking forward to this. I sat down, started putting all my questions together for you. And this is my wind down time. Um, and I still have, but I still have to post another video tonight. Um, and even, you know, our interview right now, like we've been going about 40 minutes and you know, that'll take a, an hour's worth of editing. So it, 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 I find that my FPV time is, uh, it, it helps me relax, but at the same time, it's almost like having a second job. Um, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, and I like, I, I love the impact that I'm having on the community and I'm sure you do too, but it comes at a price, which is if that price is either sleep or missing out on something or, you know, sitting in front of a computer for five hours at a time while you're working on a set of edits or I'm always, this is like, like literally when I come in the house, <clears throat> this is the yeah. first I walk and I'm literally in here for, know you want to talk to dad, come inside the yeah. office. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, my kid, I mean, my kids come to the, there's a door right there. And, uh, even when I'm working, so I, I work from home, so it's great because I get to see them. You know, when they get home from school, they come in and they get to, you know, they'll, hey, dad, how you doing? Okay. Unless I'm like on a call and then I'm like, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, so tell me, I mean, tell me what, like, you've got about five-ish thousand followers or on YouTube or su subs. Um, you've, you've, you're a part of your Red Riot pilot. Um how much of the social media thing is like a second job? I mean, like how many, like if you had to put an hours on it, how many hours a week do you think you spend doing social media? Mm. It, 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 separate from flying. Separate from flying. I guess it's hard to say that because Facebook has become like a part of my life so like not just everybody's life facebook is a part of and especially when you're right. in this hobby. facebook is where all the drama starts at facebook oh, is where first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is you look at your phone and you see what type of bullshit happened last night you know what i mean right. like yeah or, you know or to see what the next what the what this pilot came out with or what you know flight wise or that's mm -hmm. like hub like especially for fpv i feel like facebook is our hub, whether you're working it or whether you're just browsing. So it's hard to put it into like an hourly time. Like I spend this much. I'm like always on Facebook, but it's like three minute spurts. Like, uh, uh, like man, wow. Well, oh, notifications. Okay, check them out. All right. Mm -hmm. So like that can happen a, a hundred times throughout the day, you know. And mm -hmm. that's why it's hard to like keep up with it. You'll have one post over here going, and then that post, and then it'll get somebody will message you, and then that'll get lost in the messages, and then. You type somebody, you type a message to somebody, and then the phone call comes in, and then you forget to send that message. Mm -hmm. and then you're a dick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you now, do you do you feel a pressure to respond to everybody to like to be responsive to like? I mean, do you, you, I'm sure you have fans. Not, I don't feel. I, I don't. I answer every. I answer everybody that sends me a message. Okay. Because you're a human, yeah. And you're starting a conversation. Now, as long as I can, it's hard to keep conversations going throughout. Like, you know what I mean? And that's right. what people think. Take it the wrong way. Like, oh, he just didn't answer my answer, or he didn't do this. He, no, it's that I got like a bet. My personal messages coming in, mm -hmm. FPV messages coming in, and then you know how F, your Facebook messenger works. I mean, once they start getting down a little bit. Then it's like over with. Now you you got to go back and mm -hmm. so it's just lost in the the whole yeah Facebook kebab or whatever it is. <laughs> but, yeah, sometimes I, I wish with with Facebook that I could just see my what relates to me directly, as opposed to seeing oh somebody over here posted something here and somebody did this here and it's like come on guys I don't need to see that. Uh -huh. um, but let me ask you, so I have a, I have a, 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 a what is a, 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 probably a deep question for you. Um, if you remove the community from FPV and 
you were just flying in a vacuum, do you think you'd still be flying? Just flying for myself. I mean, like, there's nobody watching your videos. There's no community to share things. 110%. Okay. Yeah, 110%. That's why I started flying. I didn't start flying thinking, like, oh, I'm going to. I'm going to start flying and I'm going to get on rotor ride. And like, this is going to be, I'm like, mm -hmm. that was playing. Like I start, I, I skated, I snowboard, right. paintball. Like it was just like another like hobby that I thought I was going to pick up, do it for six months to a year and then be done with it. Mm -hmm. you know? And then just like getting engulfed into it. Just like on it. The first IO is what like really like had it for me. I was like, Oh, 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 this is cool. This is really okay. cool. That was like it. That was it. My friend, so I, 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 I keep even, having people. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't even hang out anymore. <laughs> you want to come hang out with me? You got to come to my house or meet me at the flying field. We can hang out. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Um, I keep hearing people talk about IO and like saying, "Hey, you, you know, you really need to go. You should really be there. Like, you really." So, what's it? What What is so special about IO? The people, like I don't even race, so for me it's like it's all racers, but it's just a whole weekend of just like kick back, relax, and with everybody that you talk to online. Like how often do you mm -hmm. see the people that are online and you talk to every day? I never do. Right. So now imagine like you show up to an event and there's like everybody that you talk to online is right. like smack in one place. Like dude, it's just a it's like a party all the time. Yeah, and you sit back and you get to watch everybody, you, the top racers in the world, battle for some cash. Yeah, that's competition comes out. You know, these people are like really running lap to lap to lap to lap to lap, and just like wanting it. Like to see people that want it that bad in anything. I don't care what it is. If you're so you want it so bad to throw this nickel in that cup and you can't do it, but if you want it bad enough just to see that type of determination, it's just like like wow. Yeah. I don't have the mental capacity for, for racing. <laughs> no, dude. I, you know, it's funny. I I interviewed uh, Vanover, <laughs> um, and and uh, he uh, he's one determined dude. He is one determined dude. <laughs> like, is. dude, he's he's confident. You know that is that is probably the best word, confident. And at the level that I feel that he's at, along with the other top racers, if you don't have that kind of confidence in yourself, no. he's already beat you at the game. Yeah. You know? He already beat you at the game because he has that much confidence in himself. In which, yeah. I mean, I thought he was just like, I, when I first met him, I was like, all right, this guy, like, all right, is he really that? Like, is that really how he feels? But after, like, interacting with him a while, like, hanging out, like, he really feels that confident and that's like yeah that's that's what you want like you, some people think take it as being cocky i guess and i guess at a level it is a level of cockiness but he's very confident yeah. you know? he's very very confident in that he's proven it yeah i i i would say he has uh um, he told me so i i don't know if you saw the interview he told me a story about uh getting in one guy's head and the guy was getting off the blocks faster than he was. And he, so he just walked up to the guy and he just said, look, um, I just want you to know that, uh, I may not beat you off the blocks, but if you don't see me, I'm right behind you. Uh, and I was like, damn, <laughs> like, I mean, it, <laughs> he's hardcore. I wouldn't want to raise him. No. I mean, Ready to chase his little ass around. The thing. Yeah, <laughs> he's like my little brother. Like I like picking him up. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's he 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 it, that, he was fun to talk to. So, yeah. um, so how has adjusting to fame been for you? <laughs> I guess I'm, it's it's hard because it's not like like it's like a fame. It's really like when you think of fame or like it's all not that, even internet famous. No, it's like it's, it's like, like FPV a, famous, right? It's like a weird like, and I don't even see it as being like fame famous. You now, mm -hmm. people know of me. You know what I mean? Like the same. Yeah. Thing. It's just people know of me. 
I wouldn't consider mm-hmm. like, well, I'm a celebrity. Like, I'm not a goddamn celebrity. I just know how to fly a drone rather than, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right, there's nothing yeah. about me. Like, I'm a regular guy. I have kids. I have bills. You know what I mean? Like, I have it's regular, everyday shit, you know? So it's like, when people think fame, you think money and, like, the whole, like, ah, uh, you know? Money and power and influence. Yeah, and it's like, I fly my drone, same reason why everybody else started flying drones. It's fun. You get to hang out with your buddies. You get to meet new people. That's probably like one of my, like at home, yes, flying's cool, but I've flown all my spots. You know, they're kind of like, I'm kind of done with those spots. I go out and fly because I like to hang out with the people that I fly with. Mm -hmm. Another reason why I like to travel because I get to hang out with people that I would never meet. Like, how many people would you have never met because of FPV? Right. Like, where would people be at right now if it wasn't for FPV? Like, just ponder that question. Like, all the free time that you spend on FPV, what would you be doing right now? Dude, I have, I, I'd, be, I'd be in a video camera. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, it's like those things, like, it's shaping our lives. Like, in a way, like, I mean, it's it's a lifestyle. Anybody that's constantly on Facebook and like constantly flying and putting edits out. That's a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You change things in your life to accommodate what you have going on now. That golden hour didn't seem that cool three years ago, but now you're like running home. Oh, I've got to get golden hour. I got to get golden hour. Like nobody gave a hell about the sunset. You didn't care about that. You didn't care when you ride by a park and you're like, Oh, look at those trees, babe. Your girls look at you like, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, how excited how excited were you when uh daylight savings time sprung backwards gosh dude it was so what's the when it's winter time man i don't fly like i do get out and fly every once in a while but when it's cold that takes all the fun out of it for me yeah i want to wear shorts and be comfortable set my stuff down you know walk around a little bit kick some rocks around when it's cold as shit you're like this you're like, <laughs> just trying to get back in the car you're like let me just fly this pack this is not enjoyable because it takes away that hanging out part that yeah. everybody coming down to the picnic table talking about, oh, I got this new motor in or, oh, I just put this new flight controller on or, bro, can you help me out with this? Or There's just so many different aspects of it. And mm-hmm. I don't even, it's impacted my life in so many different ways. It's crazy. And it affects yeah. you, the people around you too, you know? Yeah. Like you're probably looking at you like, why is he still out there in that shit? <laughs> well, my wife is actually asleep, so <laughs> we're old, dude. I mean, what can I say? I hear you. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to finish up with. Uh, I was able to solicit a few questions from uh, people that know you well, apparently. What? Yeah. So, um, so uh, one Douglas Crasher, <laughs> aka Bot Grinder. Um, And this is called the questions from friends segment. Um, He wants to know, do you have a frame or motors coming out soon? (laughs) Uh, Hopefully. Yes. Hopefully. That's a a frame frame and motors. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Can you, can you tease anything for us? I can tease as much as saying I'm really, really happy about it. Okay. The the frame portion, which is like more a good to go, like, you know, on his way. Mm-hmm. His, that, I'm really happy about that. Uh, that, when you get to make something that you want, like this is what I want. Yeah. And it, together and you work together with the person that you're working with it with and it actually <laughs> you know, just comes together and it's just beautiful and you're just like yes like that's where it's at so the frame situation i'm very happy with that's coming out can't tell you when but it's okay when that's coming all right Most i'll keep i'll keep my eyes open man I, i'm looking forward to it all right i have a lot of stuff coming man i'm hoping to have everything Thank you, Doug, for that question. <laughs> yeah. 
course he would do that one. <laughs> um, so the next one is is more of a statement or a comment, really, um, from one Alex Vanover. Um, and apparently he's better at backwards than you are. <laughs> so he thinks. <laughs> Check the video. I, that's all I'll say. <laughs> I I I think for the edification of the internet, we need to have a backwards off. I don't even want to do that with him. That dude's so good. <laughs> I think, see, that's the thing. I don't even want to push people into doing it. Like, like nobody has to do it. Nobody right. has to fly backwards. Because once everybody starts flying backwards, then I got to start adding something else to it, and then it gets gets crazy. <laughs> All right. Um, so the the fourth one comes from an individual named Mike Wheats. The Wheats. And uh, he he wants you to explain the rollerblades. Ha! I got gotcha. you. Actually, I got gotcha. you. I can explain that. Give me, two, give me two seconds, though. All right. This is for uh, this is for uh, Doug and Wombat. So, oh, these are my rollerblades. <laughs> Let me tuck this up here. There you go. <laughs> so the rollerblades were a pack that everybody had uh, from Zorro, and uh -huh. everybody was supposed to stop smoking. Now, mind you, I had stopped smoking. <clears throat> a month and a half before this came about. Uh -huh. So I was already a month and a half in before everybody else. So they're like, oh, we're going to stop smoking. If you start smoking, you got to rollerblade. So <laughs> I uh, I started smoking again, and I had to rollerblade. I was supposed to rollerblade, but never rollerbladed. So <laughs> this actually came in the mail from Wombat. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Have you seen these things? Are you kidding me? Dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me with the pants? <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. Let's do it like that. <laughs> so that yeah, I mean, it really it really looks like you got a little a little guy moving across the top of the screen. It's great. Great. They come with different color wheels and everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Each All right, so. So the last the last question is from one Mr. Capper. Uh oh. And uh, he wants to know: Are you better than Mr. Steele? <laughs> We're both. We are both good at different things. Am I better both? than Steele? Am I better than Steele? Not trick for trick. Hands okay. down. You don't crash. He, I would probably hold him as one of the best pilots out. So is he better than me? Am I better than Steel? I, I don't know. It just depends mm -hmm. what you're looking at. You know what I mean? It depends what flight you're looking at. Okay. Yeah, I mean, right, it's, that's a... it's, it's hard to answer that question. Steel's uh, a beast. I'm he not is a beast. Say that. I am not going to come out and say that. So, <laughs> Cinematic stuff like that is a completely different kind of flying style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Steel adds more tricks in like 30 seconds of his flight than I added throughout like my entire flight. Sometimes, right. you know, it's just two different, two different genres. It's like rap and rock, or jazz and, and blue. You know what I mean? They're just two different. I don't know. I'm gonna add. Now, some if we now, what if we changed it a little bit? Mm -hmm. Making random noises. Are you better or is Steel better at making random noises? Steel's <laughs> got that shit down. He's got that. Sure. He's got the noises on lock, all of them. <laughs> on lock. Just watching his videos, you're like, oh my God. Like the last one, I guess this is where you just you watched that, his last video. Which one? He was cold in the new Atlanta spot. Oh, no. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> Dude, like, <laughs> hilarious. I did. I will say this. I did see, I think uh, he put out something recently that was pretty awesome. The uh, I guess they were on, a, um, they were filming something. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, he was flying just crazy in Atlanta. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. And that was, you know, he, he had to put like the disclaimer, I was completely and totally cleared to fly this. Everybody shut up and don't troll me. And, but uh, that, was a, that was a pretty impressive flight, so. The dude slays, man. There's like yeah. no, no doubt about it. Like, there's, I mean, that's who I started watching Steel. Steel, yeah. Schizo, Stingy. That, that was what I, I mean, watched. That, that's, that's, who, that's who everybody started watching. Charpu. I'm actually getting ready to go down there soon to hang out with all of them. Awesome. Yeah. That's like, flying with them is like, like, oh shit. Like, dude, when I first started flying with Rotor Riot and Kevin and all of them and everybody, mm -hmm. I was so nervous. Like, I would wreck <laughs> everywhere. Like, I was literally just wrecking everywhere. Everywhere on any and everything, I would just reckon I would be constantly taking walks, constantly taking walks, and I'm just like, and then it got a little easier flying around and a little easier, and then it got comfortable. And now, I'm like, okay, cool, now I can fly. I get more nervous about flying around random people than I do flying around them. Like, if we go to like a meetup and I haven't yeah. met anybody, like, that's when I get nervous. When there's people yeah. watching me, because it's like, I see you in your videos, now I see you here perform. Right. You know I mean, it's like on the spot, like they people want to see you do some cool shit. And that's not always how it works out. Like, it's not like. Sometimes it's just not your day. Right. And that, that happened. And I know that now and I pack my shit up quick. You know, like, <laughs> quick, quick, three or four packs of like wrecking constantly. Dude, I'll go home. I'll just wow. Go, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go home. Because some days it's just not your day. And if yeah. you keep forcing it, then you're just breaking shit for no reason. You know, that's, at least that's for me. Some people aren't the same way. That's just how I am. Yeah. And that's obviously if we go on a trip somewhere and you, you took a boat to a bando, there is no like, oh, I'm having a bad day, pack it up and go home. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, you better do something cool. <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. Hey, listen, dude, thank you very much. I really appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you for having me, man. I really appreciate it. It's very good talking to you now. I feel like I'm one of the. I was on the Michael Rollins show. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, I, I, dude, I can't even. I, the, speaking of speaking of being internet or FPV famous. Just <laughs> <laughs> messages, don't you? Dude, I do. I and I, and I try. I'm, I'm like you. I'm like I try to. I try to respond. I try to talk to people. Sometimes it's just overwhelming. Yeah. And. Uh, Keeping up with YouTube comments, whoo, holy that, cow. That is kind of like, uh, you can't win that battle. Yeah, you yeah. Can't win, you know what I mean? Like, unless you, like, jump on it as soon as the edit comes out and you just wait for, like, the first, like, hour yeah. and just to the questions as they come in. But yeah. then that, like I said, I mean, my phone's dinging for everything. My phone's dinging for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook emails, regular text messages. You know what I mean? There's so many things going through. Like, dude, I probably got, I mean, look. It's been going off all, all the whole interview. Dude, it's like, like it just, so now like that, I've been on here for an hour now and I go back, I got like all these messages to check and like go through. <laughs> so that's like, but just like everyday things. You kids need something. Oh, I got to get the kids done. So I got to yeah. run out. I got to run out. That's an hour that like, okay, now I got to get back and like, you know, mm -hmm. I love it though, man. I like talking to people. I'm a people person. Like, I am too. I'm always been like, I'll be the person that can go anywhere and talk to anybody. Like, yeah. I like, I, people are cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You, it, it's weird. I don't want to get into the weird side. Never mind. <laughs> oh, you're good, man. You're good. All right, buddy. Well, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate thank everything you. that you were able to talk about. And, uh, We'll see you soon. Thanks, brother. Yeah, I will, man. I will.